Calling all cars. Who can take over a rear end collision? Foxtrot one, we'll take it from here. Well, what do we have here? I'll take that as evidence. This could be important at some point in the future. Hello. What happened here? One minute, everything was fine, and the next second, out of the blue, I lost control. We have already found evidence to back that up. You do not know why you began to swerve? I don't know for sure, but I think there was something lying on the road. This matches the piece of evidence we have already found. Did you notice the branch on the road? I didn't really pay attention to it. Did you perhaps notice anything unusual before you started to swerve? Now that you mention it, actually there was something that made my car swerve. I'd say that's a likely cause of the accident. Thank you for your statement. I will get back to you if I have any further questions. Can we go? I've got everything I need. And what do you think? The accident was caused by a branch on the road that the driver did not see. She consequently ran over the obstacle, causing the car to swerve. Good job. Now that obstacle is out of the way, the road should be safe again. Fantastic.
Ah, there you are. What's up, Chief? Looks like you've got a pretty important announcement to make. It gives me great pleasure to congratulate you on your promotion to Chief Inspector. From now on, you are one of the highest-ranked officers in this station. And now, as a result, I can now officially permit you to participate in our operation against the illegal races. That's great! At last! Thank you very much, sir. Congratulations, partner. You made it. Thanks for your support, Stefan. Now we can get really busy. Then it's time for you to get down to work. Talk to your colleagues. They will fill you in on the details. Let's take a good look at the pinboard as well, so we have an up-to-date picture before we start. Let's get going. Hey, what's up? Well, nothing much going on right now. Next time, maybe. Congratulations on your promotion. Thanks. Well, it's taken long enough to get this far. You said it. But you've now gained the necessary experience. And by the way, we've now spotted this fellow Kringle's car quite a few times. So, where is he now? That's the problem. His car is very fast and he's not a bad driver. He's already given us the slip a few times. On the other hand, our best driver hasn't got involved yet. If anyone can catch this guy, it'll be you. I couldn't agree more. Leave it to me. I knew you'd say that. Stefan's in on it too. He'll fill you in on everything else. Hey, what the? Doesn't that ring a bell with you? An accident? Was it caused by the speeders who were also involved in my case? Looks like it. It's about time somebody did something about it. The last meetings were not very productive. Yes? I was wondering... Aren't our cars simply too slow to nick these speeders? Governor, the mayor called again and asked if we've nicked the racers yet. I'd better come back later. Those were hard times for coffee cups, but that's all over now. So, are we ready? Shall we take out these guys now? What a question! Let's go! Sir, we're ready to get our hands on those races. Yes. I'm sure you're well prepared. What's your plan? Our colleagues have ascertained that we're looking for a certain Sasha Kringle. We know what car he drives and we have the details of his driving license. As he wasn't at home the last time we tried, let's turn our attention to the motorway. So you seem to be pretty well informed. Yes, sir. After all, we were just waiting to finally be allowed to participate in the investigation. Fine. Off you go then. Find this fellow, escort him all the way to our back door, and bring him in for questioning.
Uh, tell me again. What car was it we're looking for? Okay. Poison green sports sedan with racing stripes across the roof and bonnet, orange rims. Look over there. That car stands out so much. That has to be it. You're right. After him. Maybe we should have gone in civilian clothes after all. Stop moaning and get after him. Hold tight. There's a warrant out for your arrest. Please step out of the car calmly and raise your hands above your head. A warrant? What's that about? I ain't done nothing. So, Mr. Kringle, I hope you're going to cooperate. Uh, there are a few things we would like to know. I know nothing at all. Oh, yeah? Then why did you race off when we tried to wave you down? I was scared. Attempting to avoid arrest is a crime in itself. Think again. Do you really not know anything? Uh, okay, maybe I know a little bit. We have known about the illegal car races on this section of the motorway for some time. Who organizes them? Well, I, uh... Now, come on. We have all day. But the sooner you tell us something, the sooner you get rid of us. Ugh, all right. So, Heiko, a mate of mine, he always arranges them. It's about prize money, of course. But anyone can bet on them and stuff. So, who exactly is this Heiko? Forget it. I've said nothing. Now, you are already very deep in it anyway. Afraid of your mates, are you? To be perfectly honest, yes, I am. Heiko may seem nice enough at first glance, but he's not. Besides, according to him, we're all in it. What is bothering you? Are you afraid? Of us? Of you lot. No way. You are the least of my problems. Oh, I have a suggestion. You tell me everything you know. Does that... A plan, yeah. All right. Here goes nothing. The next race is today. You can only participate if you have a recommendation from a member. Ah, so of course only trusted people get in. Hmm. Stefan, what do you think? Should we go undercover? Oh, of course. I'm sure our boss won't mind either. Mr. Kringle, would you please give us a recommendation? If that's what it takes, do I get my mobile back then? Then call your friends. All right. Heiko, it's me. Listen, I've got a guy here who wants in. Uh, I'm um... Hmm? Of course. They're pretty easygoing and cool. I don't bring you rubbish now, do I? Yeah, I'm not sure yeah, yeah. Look, mate, just trust me. They're not going to tell anybody. They're not daft, you know. They're wheels. <laughs> you want to see it, man? It's a real stinger, I reckon. So, what do you say? Shall we count them in or not? <laughs> okay. Thanks, man. See ya. Knock yourself out. I hope you're really as cool as I advertised you to be. Otherwise, Heiko will see right through you. When do we start? What do you mean, we? Are we supposed to take you with us? Well, of course you are. Otherwise, Haeckel will smell a rat, won't he? Anyway, how else will he know that you're the guys I was telling him about? I don't like the idea, but I suppose he's right. If we just turn up there without him, this Heiko guy is liable to get suspicious. Then we'll take a little trip with you now. 